Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. In today's video, I want to talk about uh, my Raspberry Pi project. Um, I haven't worked on this much in the last year or so, but I decided to sit down and I wanted to try to make it go faster. So I kind of thought, well, if I put a few resources on the uh, card, uh, maybe that could help speed up the Raspberry Pi. So, kind of a brief history here. I started with, this is version 2. Version 1 is just like version 2, except for this has an interrupt pin connected. So, it, it uh, will function with hardware interrupts. So, the idea here is this plugs into a Raspberry Pi, and the Pi toggles the clock and reads the pins and determines what the what the V20 here is looking for whether it's a read write memory read write io uh, interrupt whatever this just plugs into the header and the pi is everything else so what i've done is i've taken a few things out of the pi and put it on the board in attempt to have this the processor running at full speed and only requesting bus cycles through the Raspberry Pi. So as you can see on this card, uh, it has its own clock, the crystal, that one you can see it says 10 megahertz. So this is running at five megahertz in the background all the time. And if you know much about these processors, the bus cycles, it's not always requesting stuff on the bus. There are processes uh, like opcodes that take more than a few clocks to operate. So the idea is that this can get things done in the background quickly, but only be slowed down for the uh, system bus. So you've got the clock, the processor up here. You've got your data lat or your sorry your address latches here. Uh, there's four latches uh, for your address: uh, zero through seven, eight through fifteen, uh, sixteen through nineteen, and then the other latch is actually more used for the uh, to get your status of the bus operation. So uh, S0, S1, S2, um, and that's what that's for. And then you have your data transceiver here, and then you have a buffer here for the data transceiver. Um, not to get too finite detail, but it's basically double buffered uh, to separate it so that the uh, data doesn't end up on the address latches. If you understand the processor well enough, you'd understand that. Um, so what it is, is none of these are enabled. Uh, the output are not enabled on any of these. And they come down here to an eight pin, eight of the pins, and each enable line is connected to a different pin on the header. And what that does is the Pi then goes, it wants to read the address, it enables the lower one, reads the first eight uh, bits, enables the middle one, reads the next eight bits, enables the higher one and reads the next uh, four bits. You might think, oh, that's really slow, but we're already, when you're reading the, uh, this one, you're only reading one bit at a time anyway. So you're reading, you're just enable, so that's one pin. Then you read an eight, then you're disabling it, reading or enabling, reading eight, disabling. So it's really not that many more uh, uh, IO read write pins compared to uh, just doing it a different way. Then the data is done the same way. There's an enable on the buffer to read or write from the buffer for uh, whether it's a read or write cycle. So one of the reasons why this is double buffered is for the interrupt controller and system timer, there's kind of like a little mini bus internal and the Pi will decode and say, oh, you want port 20 and the chip enable line is connected to the Pi. And, it, and so it doesn't give it any data. It just enables it and then continues on the bus. And that has seemed to kind of work, but it's not, it's not perfect. There is the uh, IO read, read, write decoder here, but that's only for the uh, interrupt controller and the system timer. And then up here, we've got um, LS74 or 74 LS74. Uh, flip-flop, and this is used for um, the ready signal for the uh, 
processor and it comes down here so it's that if you watch my previous video about making a single step on the bus that's where this is implemented so every time the ale line is triggered it resets the the ready pin and waits until you it's kind of a trigger to tell the bus you're ready so if that made any sense kind of a long explanation but um basically what comes to this thing is uh it's pretty slow it was meant to be faster it's not so let's uh i'm going to demo both of these kind of booting up and we'll look at the speed differences so got my raspberry pi here running already Let's just plug in the uh, version 3 first. So I've got it all connected. And we will run a test run here. So this is the version 3. Um, as you can see, it, it put the BIOS message on the screen probably as fast as the other one did we're waiting we're waiting for ms dos here and uh it only will boot from the a drive right now uh it will boot from the c it's just really slow so you see how slow that was booting up uh the keyboard does work but it's not using the interrupt controller so that's display in the uh, directory there so let's uh that finished just loading the directory. Let's plug in uh, the standard D20 now. So you can see that. I'd say that loaded quicker. And there booted the C drive much quicker. Let's just type BIR. And I'd say that's definitely reading the directory a lot quicker. So, you can see that's just the little one there plugged in. So the conclusion kind of is that this one here, the, the version 2, does run faster. Not by much, but it is noticeable. Where, you know, over this one, they, they're they using a lot of the same code. It's just this one is decoding only bus cycles, where this one's decoding everything, including, um, you know, even clock clicks. And uh, what that really tells me, though, is that it's not so much the 8088 that's being slow. It's actually the Raspberry Pi that's slowing everything down. Because this is entirely is always waiting on the Raspberry Pi to give it data or to write data to it. So anyway, that's kind of uh, just wanted to... Uh, give an update on the project and kind of what I have attempted and how it's worked out. So thanks for checking out my video today.